In this lesson, we will create a Java project in VS Code and first we will check how to assign the JDK to a particular project and also how to switch between multiple JDKs if needed. And while doing that, you need to understand few important concepts like user settings, workspace settings, Java project settings. I'll also explain that. Here, I have a VS Code already installed and only one extension I have installed over here which is extension pack for Java. And for this demonstration purpose, I have multiple JDK available in my system, Java 8, Java 11, 17, and 21. And my Java home variable is set to this particular Java 8. Let me show you that. I'm going to environment variables. Here, if you see my Java home is this, this JDK 8. And in the path, if I click on edit, at the beginning, I have this Java home bin appended. Clicking on cancel, if I go back to VS Code and try to create a Java project, going to Explorer, create Java project, no build tools, let me select a particular folder. This is the folder I am selecting, select the project location. I am naming this project as JDK switch sample, press enter. Trusting the parent folder over here, clicking on yes. So to reiterate the scenario again, we have not done any customization within VS Code, only installed the extension pack for Java. Our Java home variable is already set. We just created a sample project. Let me close this welcome screen and go to this source folder. If I open this app.java, you see it has started activating the extension. Before running this, once this activation is complete, I want to show you this Java projects view. Now, once the Java project is activated and it is ready, you can see over here, this is my project, which I can see over here in Explorer. And this is the JRE associated. So without any configuration or any adjustment in the settings, if you have a Java home variable, which is set to a valid JDK, it would point to that particular JDK as the system library. Let me run this sample code, right click, run Java. The program has run successfully. We can see the hello world. And more importantly, here if you see, it is using this JDK 8, the JDK which is set in the Java underscore home variable. I would customize this code a little bit. I'm trying to get the Java version and the JRE version. Let me run the code once again. Here you can see it is printing the value JDK 8 once again. So without any customization, if the JDK home or Java home is set, this is how we can execute a Java project in VS Code. Now, what if we want a user level setting? In VS Code, there is a concept of user level setting and workspace level setting. If I go to file, click on preferences and click settings, that is one way. Or we can directly click here under manage settings. You can see we have these two entries, user and workspace. If I type runtime over here, then under language support install JDK, we have this Java configuration runtime. As user is selected, this is the user level setting. Let me click over here. You can see at the top, this is under this particular location. Users, then my username, app data, roaming code, user, settings.json. This is the user level settings. If I go back to settings and if I click on workspace, now if I click on this edit in settings.json, it is going to open the workspace level setting file. You can see this location .vs code settings.json. This is basically here. This is my workspace and under this, I have workspace level settings. So user level settings and workspace level settings. And in Java project, we have project level settings also. If I go to Java project settings by going to command palette first, control shift P type Java project. Here you can select Java colon open project settings. If you click this JDK runtime, you can see it has already picked up this 1.8. If I click on this, there are some other entries. I'll come to that later on. Class path, JDK runtime is this. If I go to compiler, compiler would be also 1.8. So what we would do, we would discuss topics one by one. First user level settings, then workspace level settings, then project settings. Let me close all of them and only keep user level settings. Now I have this user level settings only. By default, it has taken JDK 1.8, but for user level setting, I'm going to set one version higher. Let me see what I have here. I have JDK 11. I can copy this path, go back to VS Code, 
here I'm going to add the runtime and set it to JDK 11. Control space, press enter, control space again, name. Here I have to select from these entries, selecting Java IC 11, comma, enter, control space, path, testing the path. I need additional backslashes over here. Now we have added the runtime configuration at user level settings. Let me save this. Now, this is a user level setting. Workspace level setting will override user level setting. Project level setting will override workspace level setting. My project level setting is still to 1.8. So, if I run this project, unless I change my project level setting, it would still use JDK 1.8. Let me run it once again, just to show you. Still using 1.8. Let me open the project level setting now. Ctrl Shift P, open project settings. JDK runtime still 1.8. Go here, find a local JDK, selecting this JDK 11, select JDK home, go to compiler, change this. Now we have the JDK 11 over here and in compiler, we have this JDK 11. Click on apply settings. Let's rerun the code once again. Let me get rid of all this. You can see. It is using the JDK 11 now and the code itself also printing the Java version or the JRE version as Java 11. So this is how we can switch between different JDKs. What if now I create a new project? Go to Explorer, type Ctrl Shift P, create Java project, no build tools, selecting the same folder as project location, providing a name, JDK switch sample 2. Now with this project, Keep one thing in mind, we already have the JDK home which is set to 8 and our user setting is pointing to JDK 11. If I go to manage settings under user, if I search runtimes and click this edit in settings, we have this JDK 11 already set. Now if I close all this, open this source and open this Java, now it has started activating the extension. Let's wait for a while. Now it's ready. Let me expand this Java project section. Here you can see it is still pointing to 1.8, meaning it has pointed to the Java home variable. Although under user settings, I have Java 11 set, this itself is pointing to 1.8 only. Now what we can do, like the earlier scenario, we can go to the Java project settings, select JDK runtime, and from here we can change it. Now this entry is coming because we have added in our user settings. Similarly, what I can do, I can add another entry to our workspace settings. If I close all this, click on manage settings here under workspace. Let me search for runtimes. Click on edit in settings.json. I don't have any entry over here. Let me add the entry for another version of Java. Let me see what I have available over here. Apart from Java 11, I can use Java 17. Copy this path. Control space, name, select Java 17, comma, enter, control space again, path, paste the value. We have to escape the backslash over here. Now, once we set this, and now if I go to the Java project settings, click on JDK runtime. Under project settings, I have both of these JDK runtimes available. The one which I set in user settings, the one which I set in workspace settings. Once I change it over here, then only the effect would be reflected on the Java project. Let me change it to JDK 17. I have to change the compiler also. Click on apply settings. Now you can see this has changed to 17. If I close all this and run this again, you can see over here it is using Java 17. And let me add that piece of code where we are printing the Java and JRE going to the other project. Control S. Now it is printing the Java version and Java runtime version as Java 17 only. This is how we can switch between different JDKs in a Java project in VS Code. So if I want to summarize in your system, if Java is installed, and java underscore home variable is set. By default, VS Code will use the java underscore home environment variable. When you create a project, it would take that particular JDK as its runtime. On top of that, we can customize. Within the Java project, we have the project settings. In the project settings, 
we can point to different JDKs. Now those JDKs we can add to different settings. Either we can add them to our user settings or we can add them to our workspace settings. Even inside the project settings also, we can add those runtime configurations. That way we can add multiple JDKs to our projects and switch between them. I hope you found this video useful. If that is the case, please like and subscribe. If possible, I would request you to comment in case you have any feedback or any probable input. Thanks a lot for your time.